So here it is, the DK riser installed. It's a riser with for the LED and vent, so you can open it. On four side, two doors per side. And it uses magnet. And a couple more at the back. It's a pretty decent size hole on all of them. So, as I said, this is using a magnet. So it, it snaps very close it. The printables link will be in the description. And I'm going to show you how to put this together uh, right after this. So here it is, uh, all the parts that needs to build uh, for the DK riser. There's four main bodies. And then we need four pegs to put them together. There's eight uh, vent door with TPU. This is to help seal the stuff. And we're gonna be using magnets to help secure the door. So the first thing you do, you wanna put them up upside down. This is like upside down. Uh, line them up and you want to install the pegs so this is locking the whole thing in place if you can see there's notches that needs to be facing outwards outwards if you want you can install you can put glues on it also put some glue so it will be permanent the tolerance pretty tight And let's do the other three. Notch outside. Notch outside. Facing outside. So you want to let them sit until they're dry pretty good. Use it facing up. So on this project, we use a lot of, uh, quite a bit of magnets to help secure it. I made these two tools basically to help us uh, install them in the correct uh, polarity. You know how magnets they will repel each other if it's on the same. So on the tools, you wanna glue the magnets, but make sure they're opposite of this, oops. So the first one I already installed, the second one I need to make sure they're the opposite. So they meet like this, and then you install it, and then you wait until it's dry. Okay, this is the right one. Okay, next, you want to glue all of this door. There are different sizes and they only match this particular one. To do the doors, of course, you need to glue them. This thing has a hole to match flap so you can line them up you can feel it snap in place of course wait until they're dry next you want to install the magnets now I have the uh, yellow body exactly the same as this color. So I want to use this tool to install the magnets for the body, for the main frame. 
Now for the doors, for the thing, I want to use this one, the opposite side. So, the way to catch it is, so they will snap in place with the magnet. And that will be the correct polarity facing wise. Okay. Then you wait until it's dry. Do that on four or all eight. And then you use the other tool to install the one on the body. So ideally you want to wait until they're dry before you install the flap. Gonna install a couple more and then we take a break waiting for it to dry and then we continue to install the door. Okay, next we want to install the vent doors or flaps onto the body. There is a small notch going 45 degrees down. So you want to install it 45 degrees that way. So I would typically put the left side first. And then there's the middle part. 45 degree down, push down. And then last part and it'll snap into place. Do the same thing on the other flaps. Okay, next is we need to install the LED strip onto the main body. There's a hole underneath here and you want to tuck it under the thing. There's a little guide here to hold it in place. Now, in the previous design, I angle it 60 degrees, so it's very tough to bend it over the corners. I created sort of like what I call a cave for the lack of the better word to kind of host when you have to bend it. Kind of have to maneuver it. Same deal on this corner too. You know, squeeze it in there. And then stick the next segment. See how it's stuck in there. That allows it to curl. 
without that, it's going to be hard to, without that case, it's going to be hard to bend it. The other way to do it is actually cut it and then do a little soldering. But I kind of don't want to do that. So, tuck it in there. So I'm gonna cut it like right about there. Make sure they're all got enough of the glue. Another option is actually you can use the super glue so they are more permanent. The last part is to put this in the slot kind of has to push it in it was made intentionally a little bit tight plus i got this little tpu stuff to hold it in place it's made a little bit wider than the actual hole so that snaps in place they'll keep it nice and tight And then last part is to install the shield. This is, I like it because this will shield the light from leaking outside to the top. Oh, this one. And this is ready to go.